Congratulations, you've made it to the last workout. This is workout number three. It is our abs. Let's get started. And again, we're just gonna start with some stretching. So reaching way up high to the sky. Take your time with this stretching and you just wanna feel, you know, feel a nice lengthening stretch here along your spine and up through your arms. And now behind your back. Now we just did our arm workout yesterday, so definitely take your time on your arms and make sure you stre stretch those muscles out really well. And across the front of your body. Again, this is gonna be another quicker workout. Our legs was the longest, and then now our arms and our abs are both gonna be much quicker. And behind your back again, reaching that one arm down and using the other, the hand from the other arm to pull across on your uh, elbow so that you get that nice lengthening stretch in your tricep area. Okay, sometimes thumbs out, I like to do some just shoulder rotations here. That to me usually feels really good the day after that uh, arm workout. Just do that like 10 times, 15 times, 20 times, whatever feels good to you. A very gentle neck stretch here, just using my hand to gently add some pressure, but you know, you don't want to make this too severe, but this is a nice gentle stretch for your neck. out in front so that we can do our uh, the, our forearm area again just applying gentle pressure with your opposite hand Okay, and it's time to do our abdomen again. You wanna reach that, uh, reach, you know, kind of tilt your body backwards and off to a side so that you can feel that in the front portion, um, stretching and lengthening. And then straight across your side. Reach that same arm forward so that you feel it in the back portion. And let's do it on the opposite side there. Lean backward into the opposite side. straight across and now reaching forward okay 
now our legs. Get those lunges in so you're stretching the inside of your thigh. And as you do these workouts, you know, several times, feel free to mix it up, mix up your stretching, uh, even that your exercises, you know, because you want to you keep your body guessing a little bit. That's the best way to build that muscle. We're just leaning to the other side now. And straight forward, so you feel that nice stretch on the back of your thighs, up your legs. And you can even stretch the front part of your thigh just reaching back. If you can do this on one foot without um, you know, holding on to anything, that's really great for your balance. But if you need to hold on to something, just go ahead and do it. What you don't want to do is pull your knee really, really tight. You want to kick out a little bit with your foot so that you're stretching your thigh there, but also not putting a lot of pressure on your knee. Okay, let's get started with our very first exercise. So we're gonna be in kind of like a push-up position, and then we're gonna bring our knees up towards our uh, stomach. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And we're gonna do, again, three sets of 14 on this. This is an exercise that you will be able to advance in pretty quickly um, and add more sets or even more, more repetitions to those sets, but we're just going to stick with the 14 theme for now. I'm just stretching my back out and my hips a little bit there. And then we're going to do our second set. Actually first, you're going to stretch your back a little bit more and just arch your back downwards. You want the smaller your back pushing downwards towards the ground. And now our second set. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13 and 14. Now I'm just gonna put my hands on my hips there and lean, arch my back backwards. So feel that stretch a bit. These are really nice stretches on your back and your abdomen. It really loosens up that like midsection area to give you, you know, more kind of more uh, mobility, more movement. Okay. <clears throat> and we have one set left. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Good job. Now our next exercise. This is kind of, you know, you're gonna be on your elbows and we're gonna go side to side. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. And again, this is something you'll be able to add more repetitions to pretty quickly. And 
And all you're doing here, you know, you just don't want your hips to touch the ground. You just want to get them close. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. You just push up on your arms like that, give yourself another stretch in your abdomen, and also kind of stretches your back a little bit. Then we have a final set. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Very good. Okay, flip over quickly. We're gonna go right into crunches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. We're going to do three sets of 20 on these. Now just stretch up, reach way above your head, and just uh, stretch out that abdomen. You'll feel that um, all through your body. And just, just a side note here, uh, when you do the crunches, make sure you keep your elbows down and flat. You do not want to be raising your elbows up. Um, you wanna really feel your crunches in your abdomen, not in your arms or your neck. You know, you don't wanna use that as leverage to pull yourself up. You wanna make sure you're using those ab muscles. And we'll get ready for our second set here. Another set of 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Great job. Take a little bit of a breather. And pull those legs up towards you. Again, don't push on your knee, just use the back of your leg with your hands. And we're going to get ready for our third and final set of 20. Make sure you get some nice deep breaths in first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Great job. Okay, let's do some extra stretching here. Just do those butterflies, keep your feet out farther to really feel that in your hip area. And cross our legs over and lean into that. 
because don't forget now tomorrow we're going to start the cycle over again and do your legs so it's important to keep your you know stretching your legs out as well as you go okay great job congratulations you did it you made it through all three days of my workout so now just relax a little bit tomorrow you want to start back at legs again so it's just continuous legs arms abs and feel free to mix in other stretches other exercises that you like to give you know to keep your muscles guessing a little bit that's really really important as you go but hope you enjoyed these workout videos with someone who you know, is just trying to do the best that they can. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.